Previously on Poetically Mused. The principle and in the spirit of Kwanzaa, Kowumba, comes to us to inspire us to operate on our highest levels of creativity. Creative energy is very powerful. It's the most powerful energy there is. We create things with our thoughts. We create things with our hands. We create things with our actions and we create things with our lack of actions. So it would serve your spirit well to meditate on your creative energy and meditate on using it wisely because my mystic diary your haven for spiritually symbolic reading this is the wind song the wind song crawl of oracles welcome Ekuale, Ekuabo, Onimi Ojo Ruru, Seremokan Odonek Bawa Tiogun, Mejila Awan Ojo Ekbao Tutu. What did I just say? Good evening and welcome. Today is Wednesday, January 1st, 2020. 12 days inside of winter solstice. And I am Ayansa J. Muse, your mystic priestess, divinatory, visual, literary, and performing artist, welcoming you to the seventh and final Kwanzaa Diary for this year's celebration. I really enjoyed making these seven videos to go a little bit deeper into the Yunguzo Saba. Of course, there will be much more to come next Kwanzaa. As a matter of fact, this year's series of Kwanzaa with Ianza is going to start a countdown all the way through to next year's, well, this year's Kwanzaa, Kwanzaa 2020, going into 2021. And today's principle is Imani, faith. I remember when I was a little girl, I was raised a Christian deacon's daughter. I know, right? Can you imagine? And one of my favorite songs, you know, the old timers and the old school clapboard churches in the backwoods used to sing that song. Oh, can't turn around. We come this far by faith. I think y'all know that song. I, I love that song. It's the first thing that came to mind on this diary entry on Imani. But let's talk about the cosmology first. So, the day, first day of the calendar year vibrates on A6. 1, 1, 2, 2, add that up together and you got A6. Now, biblically, that's the number of the beast or the flesh or materialism, if you will. But it's also the number that deals with feminine energy and the harmonious nature of friendships and partnerships. Today, in the quasars, Uranus finally stopped retrograding. So the planet of intuition is no longer running backwards on the day that it actually rules, on top of Mercury, of course. The day of the numerology, aside from the six, Imani is day seven of the Yanguzo Saba. So it's funny how the day of completion starts on the day that the new year begins. So it's like ending to begin. Seven, completion, one, new year. So as these rituals complete, then the air should be good and clear for a brand new beginning. Today also vibrates on green, the very last green candle, resonating with the heart chakra because faith is the essence of believing in things unseen. Wednesday is ruled by Mercury, and it's also ruled by Uranus. So you have a double, triple play of that planetary energy. And the moon tonight is waxing in Pisces. And Pisces is the 12th and final house of the zodiac. Again, ending just to begin. Pisces is the mutable water sign of the zodiac, the one that learns about itself through its interactions with others. It's ruled by Neptune, the big sister of Venus and the planet of divine compassion. 
And it takes a lot of compassion to have faith because faith is belief in things unseen. So we follow what we must with our hearts and with our sense of spirituality. No wonder the candle is green. I'm going to take a quick break and then when we come back, we're going to be right back with some more of my thoughts on Imani outside of the cosmology, of course. Thanks for joining me. I share. Oh, y'all's lipstick blot. My favorite dark maroon. Speak sweet blackberry and I answer J Muse haiku. Astrology, quasars, astrology, retrogrades, 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 secrets, secrets planets, 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 outer universe, outer inner universe, universe, outer universe orbits, orbits, sun orbits, signs, moon signs, sun signs, rising, moon signs rising, rainbows, rainbows, rainbows midheaven, rainbows, descending, descending, vertex, descending, vertex, vertex galaxies, galaxies, twelve figures, twelve zodiac, figures, zodiac, zodiac, the solar system, the solar purples, system, browns, maroons, the, browns, the stars, browns, divine stars, timing, divine paranormal, paranormal experience, experience, conjure. conjure. It's all inside. Join me every Wednesday for Enchantress and Quasar Conjure with Ayanta J. Muse on www.poeticallymuse.org forward slash Enchantress and Quasar Conjure. And we're back. Talking about the seventh day of Kwanzaa. In Guzo Saba, Imani, Faith. I have quite a few things to say about faith as I can honestly say faith is the only reason why I'm even sitting here talking to you. But such is the legacy of our people. We have come through centuries of atrocity and the mystery of how we're still standing, still great, still beautiful, still rising in the face of all of our affliction is only a question that the Most High can answer. However, there are some challenges to our ways of faith these days. And what I mean is, yes, we are in the age of information, and don't get me wrong, that's a good thing. But I just want my people to understand that you can never gain enough knowledge to be wiser than spirit, ever. So allow your, 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 gaining of wisdom and everything that you're studying and uncovering and learning about yourself these are all great things but you don't want to be so wise in your own understanding that you don't give the spirit world room to bob and weave that's how that faith becomes in balance what's another way to practice faith place your prayers place the things into the universe free of the word how because how is a word that can cause blockage when it comes to faith. Well, how's this gonna happen? Well, how am I gonna come up with the money? How am I gonna get people to support it? How am I gonna get people to listen to me? Well, how's that gonna happen? I don't see how that can happen. Oh, ye of little faith. You get my drift? How blocks faith? Put it into the universe and let the ancestors and the Orisha and the divine forces of nation, nature that have, well I said nation, so maybe I'm slipping out something that I could have a little bit more faith on, but anyways. How blocks faith? Study your knowledge, but know that your experiences and your belief in the Most High is what makes you wise. Reading knowledge, reading books, studying information, yes, that makes you smart, but it doesn't make you wise. One of the wisest things I've ever heard was a lyric from an Erica Badu song. The man that knows something knows that he knows nothing at all. Hmm. So while we embrace ourselves and studying the knowledge and the wisdom and uncovering and reclaiming our history, I will boldly say, allow that to become secondary to your faith. And your faith can come in many ways. It can come in the form of Christianity, Catholicism, Buddhism, 
um, Ifa Orisha, Systems of African Spirituality, just being a spiritual person, mastering the essence of letting go and letting God, whatever it may be, establish that unbreakable connection with the divine, and that will increase your faith. Study the lineages of your ancestry. Study the people who achieve the impossible with so little. There's a lot of that in our, line in our lineages, by the way. And how did they do it? Faith. Why did our ancestors endure the monstrosities that they did? Because they had faith that we would be here one day to carry on their legacy and to make it great. And we're here, aren't we? All right. So what will your faith put into the web of time? What legacies will your faith create? The universe awaits. 2020 is a year of mastery. I'm gonna take another quick break. I'm gonna let you marinate on that for a second. And when I come back, we're going to do tonight's tarot draw. Thanks for joining me. Tornadoes clear pathways. Gentle breezes sing wind songs. Unpredictable. And I answer J. Muse Haiku. 63. Divulge into the inner and outer mysteries of your being with Indigo's Intricate Nine. A detailed tarot spread by Ayansa J. Muse. Choose your tarot deck, payment option, and send your name, date of birth, and questions to Ayansa at poeticallymused.org. That's I I I Y A N S A at poeticallymused.org. Be sure to specify whether you want to receive your response via email or postal calligraphy keepsake letter. All tarot readings come with numerology and zodiac analysis. The tarot decks to choose from include the Mother Peace Round, the Egyptian Tarot, the Mayan Oracle, the Medicine Woman's Healing Deck, a Cardamency or the good old-fashioned pack of playing cards, and two of my Spirit Guide Oracle Decks. Cash App at dollar sign I I I Y A N S A. PayPal at scribesmuse at gmail.com. That's S C R I B E S S M U S E at gmail.com. Experience Indigo's Intricate Nine. Ashe. And we're back. And as you can see, I am shuffling yet another different tarot deck. This is a tarot deck, Mayan Oracle, and it is congruent with my Wednesday blog, The Enchantress of Quasar Conjure, that focuses a lot on astrology. So make sure you go back through and check out all of my Kwanzaa with the Anza Diary entries and follow the corresponding blog because this year, each of the blogs will teach something different about cosmology. I love to shuffle them live so that everyone watching knows that this tarot draw is not pre-decided. We're going to see what the spirit of the Mayan Oracle has to add to our thoughts of Imani. Polarity. Two. Now, this is one of the number cards in this Oracle deck, and polarity talks about the dualities. Now, what does the dualities have to do with faith? Easy. Maintaining the importance of guarding your thoughts. Because when you have faith and belief in something, know that the challenges are going to come. It's just the fine print of the package. And sometimes we say, well, why do people want to put us down when we want to try and do something in life? Well, a lot of the times the reason being is, is that we don't know that we're unknowingly attracting the people who manifest our own inner thoughts. This also represents the unity of the female and female, male and female polarity. What does that mean? 
It can mean the physical, the male and the female combining to make the family. And it also means the masculine and feminine principles within yourself. Polarity reveals your conflicts, your struggles, and the separations that you may be creating from your own destiny. So closely examine your defined feminine and, as feminine and masculine aspects. Make sure that your femininity is on its proper areas of nurture and for the right reason. And make sure that your masculine energies, the driving forces of protection, are also where they're supposed to be. And believe that these principles are both within you for a specific reason and a divine purpose according to the Creator's higher plan. Polarity is the pulse of the universal source. And what does that mean? The universal source is, of course, the Most High. The Most High is where all things come. So when you explore and balance your polarities, it will work out a lot of kinks in your areas of self-doubt. Thank you for joining me for this tarot spread. I'm going to take another quick break. And when we get back, we're going to light candle. Thanks for joining me. I painted this one green for you. Listen. Imani. Sere Okan. January 1st. Mojuma Moje. January Sere. Renew your connection with spirit on the first calendar day. Imani. Faith beyond the earthly sense. The response can give your arm a pinch. Saying, is this answer prayer real? E mighty. Walk through fire, dance on air, jingle on water while on earth. By faith we've come this far, and it has been so since birth. For what it's worth, our curses turn to gems, our nows have grown from winds. Imani. Let's continue, Habarigani. Year round, our faith unfolding anthologies of ancestors, living legends who could fly. If you were to ask how, God would only wink his her eye. We've come this far by faith. So many prayers to the sky. So trust it all to rain down in time. Imani. Black butterflies in a sky so blue. In prophecy, our victory was written. Deuteronomy 32 whispers a clue. Seven on day one, completing to begin. Belief in the unseen has always been. The secret behind our ultimate win. Our new day is Donnie. We call her name. Imani. Happy Imani. And happy Kwanzaa. And may the seven principles resonate with you through the remainder of of the year from Yansa J Muse 2019 Moon Day December 23rd The Sun vibrates on a two moon waning and Sagittarius Ashe And we're back So we're about ready to light the Imani candle But of course I must show off my creative artistic hand painted Kinata Brought to you by Eonsa's Gourd. Celebrating five plus years of painted bottle art. The archives will be coming out soon and I can't wait to release the new line of sculptures. Glass gold art. Paintings. Jewelry. Downloads. All kinds of stuff. Just uh, make sure you follow my Etsy store. This is my Imani bottle. As you can see, you can see the seven lines. And there's your candle. And all of its other creative beauty. I love painting cowrie shells. So you'll see a lot of cowrie shells in my bottle art. But I wanted you to have a look at it. And um, it's never too late to get prepared for Kwanzaa next year. So if you're interested in your hand painted Kinata set, then please send me an email at Ayansa at poeticallymuse.org. It's in the description box along with the information to my Etsy store, the Enchantress and Quasar Conjure um, blog, and my main website. Now traditionally, 
Green candles are used in rituals to promote love, health, wealth, prosperity, forgiveness, and abundance. And candle dressing is a major part of enhancing that prayer. So here is my blessed shea butter, as you can see. I mix these as well. You'll see some of these in my store as well. And you just take a little bit on your fingertips and meditate on the green candle. We ready? Ashe, 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 oh. Ah, yes. The Imani candle. I would like to thank everyone who has been watching and supporting some of my diary entries especially joining me for this special edition and before i close out i'd like to say don't just stop here let's keep the nguzo saba year round and how do we do that let's just keep the seven day cycle going so if today is imani tomorrow is umoja and the day after that kuji chakalia and the day after that ujima the day after that Ujama, the day after that, Nia, the day after that, Kumba, the day after that, Imani. Let's keep this going year round because if we don't make our own holidays large, no one else will. Remember, spirit will not do for man what man must do for himself. So, mankind, womankind, let's keep our Nguzo Saba going year round. Happy Kwanzaa, happy holidays. Happy New Year. Be sure, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and follow all the blogs for more cosmic learning and entertainment straight from the pages of my Mystic Diary. Thank you for joining me. Ashe. Did you enjoy it in the galaxies of the Enchantress of Quasar Conjure? Well, let's see how that energy expands when we take it inside for a deeper meaning. With I Ching's and Scarlet Serene's. I bet you won't meet me there tomorrow. Ashe.